Next participant, uh, I would like to invite Shri Ashwini Hegde. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, ma'am. Sir, yeah. you can stop sharing your screen, Sanjay, sir. Okay, sorry, sorry. I'm Shri Ashwini Hegde. I'm already stop sharing. I'm not my screen not shared. I already stop sharing. Yeah. Madam, can you share your screen? Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Please do it. Okay. I'm Sia Ashwini Agde. I am from a small village in Karnataka called Elapura. So here, we, the main problem here is that uh, lots of 2A, 2B reconciliation and uh, finding uh, input for our clients. So what I did is, uh, uh, I am demonstrating my tools. So uh, I did not prepare any PPT or anything because it is waste of my time also, or your time also. So I am going to demonstrate my Python based tool that is created using artificial intelligence. That is, uh, I use ChatGPT. So let me show my tool first. Yeah, this is EC Ruka. Recon. It is a standalone application. Uh, it is offline tool and we can use it, we can share it or we can do whatever we want. Like uh, there is uh, internet connection is not required to run this uh, tool. So I'll just open, it will take around uh, 50 to 30 seconds to open this tool. So by the time I'll show you the input for this. I have 2A, 2B and purchase register and this 2A and 2B, it is directly downloaded from the GHD portal. I'll show you the 2A file. Now this is 2A sheet. To, without any modifications, I'm just using this sheet as it is downloaded from the portal. And again, I have to be sheet. This is also as it is downloaded from the portal. I have not done anything in this. And then I have purchase register. Purchase register is directly exported from the tally. I did a little of uh, a modification here to uh, so that it is aligning with uh, my Python port. So these are the three input files for my Python tool. So now my tool is opened. Here it is easy recon, GST reconciliation made effortless. It can clean GST R2A, 2B, reconcile 2A and 2B. And again, it reconciles GSTR and our purchase register. It identifies all the mistakes and all. And the main thing is, it is there is no violation of privacy. It is completely offline and we are, we are not uploading any of our files into the uh, portal or anywhere. So I'm launching this tool now. Yes, this is a tool. Madam, Here, your tool is not visible. Actually, only the folder uh, screen is visible. Okay, my tool is not visible. No, madam. You can stop the screen sharing and reshare the entire. Okay. You should share your entire screen, ma'am. I'm not getting that option. Stop share. Now, share an entire screen. Uh, entire screen. Okay. Now is it visible? It, so then uh, the first page, it, it, it was not visible, that, that means. Yes. Yeah, here is my name. It will take around uh, 30 to 35 seconds to open the tool. So here, what, uh, what is main important is 
I'm not doing any manipulation to whatever is downloaded from the portal. I'm directly using 2A and 2B as it is downloaded. So manual work is as minimum as possible. Here is the main page. Here I'm launching the tool. So my tool is here. So now what we have to do is there is a 2A with uh, lots of blank uh, lines and all. So it is not uh, aligned for our uh, Python code. So we have to clean the 2A first. So here I have my 2A. GSTR 2A clean it is saving. And the same way clean GSTR 2B. GSTR to be clean. Clean purchase register. This is March purchase register. Yes, purchase register clean. So we have all the three files. I'll show you the files created. This is my GSTR to a clean. Here I have selected only the data required for me, like tax rate and invoice number. All the details, taxable value, tax rate, invoice date, invoice number, GSTN and supplier name. Same way we, we have GSTR2, GSTR2B. This is also same thing. Only whatever the important things I need, I have kept only those things. So we have clean 2A, clean 2B and again this purchase register clean. So we have all the three files now. We just have to do reconciliation. Okay, now I am reconciling GSTR 2A and 2B. So here I need to select GSTR 2A clean and GSTR 2B clean. So I need to give a file name for the Excel sheet. So now re reconciled GSTR is ready. Now I can go for books and GSTR reconciliation. Reconcile books with GSTR input. Now here I have purchase register cleaned. And this GSTR um, clean, uh, GSTR recall created just a second back. Yes, it is final reconciled. So our reconciliation is ready with a click of mouse click. So I'll show you the final output here. Yes, here. It is GSTR reconciled. It is uh, reconciled with 2A and 2B. Here it is showing all the things. GSTN, supplier name as per 2A, supplier name as per 2B. Invoice numbers, invoice date and all. And again, we have final reconciliation sheet. Yes, it is here. Here we can see we have GH, a supplier name, books. It is taken from the books. Then invoice numbers, invoice date as per book. Taxable value as per books it is giving. Taxable value as per GHTR it is giving. We have difference. And it is uh, or originality, where, where from it is, that entry is from which it is books only, it is matched both books and uh, GSTR books only. We have everything here. And again, I'll show you something here. There are few... Uh, ma'am, two minutes are left. Yes, ma'am. Here, see. I have also like given this uh, some invoice numbers which are some uh, different in GSTR and books. So it is showing me it is likely mismatch. So it is both like it is in GSTR and it is in books, but the invoice numbers are different. So it is showing it is possible mismatch. I can uh, correctly verify all those things, whether it is real mismatch or it is just invoice numbers are not matching. And also I have a summary here, GSTR only, matched, books only, likely mismatch and mismatch. Again, I have a supplier summary also here. Here what are not in GSTR and not in books. I have total summary supplier wise. Yes. 
Yes, sir. This is the tool now is created and the advantage is we are creating, uh, we are doing it everything offline and the least manual effort is uh, required here. So ma'am, uh, this is the tool which is developed by you? Yes, sir. Using coding? I'll show you the coding uh, thing, sir. Yeah, mm -hmm. here this uh, chat GPT prompts is here. I need a Python code for uh, this one. You should match GSTN with this. I have shared the screenshots of uh, 2A, 2B, head the headers and all. Whatever the errors I have got, I have shared with the chat GPT. So it is giving me what all I need to do. It guided me everything. And the final reconciliation app also is here. It showed me how to create an app. GHT Recon app creation helped me. Okay. So it helped me install installer. I need to install and then what all I need to do. How to create the exe. So everything is created or done uh, using uh, chat GPT. Okay, okay, okay ma'am. Any questions sir? No ma'am. Uh, the participant, I think... Uh... What parameter does the application match the most as invoice number or even date are not matching most of the times in books and to be data? Sorry? Suppose there is a difference of date in the to be uh, data and the books data. So how have you dealt with it in yeah. your? Yeah, one is first I've asked it to take GSTIN number. Okay. GSTI number, it has to match. It can ignore the differences in uh, uh, supplier name. Okay. And then I asked it to match invoice number. Okay. Then I also give that uh, fuzzy match means the truncated something it used. Even uh, I am not that well versed with it. Suggested me to use that. So okay. like it will have alphabetics in invoice number and last three four digits it is matching. What so happens? You, yes, sir. So you have uh, uh, compared GST number and invoice number along with yes, that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And ignored totally ignore the date. Huh. Okay. Okay. That I think that is solving the problem. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, sir. Can I stop sharing? Yes, ma'am. Thank now you. Now we'll move.